With the release of 03 and then the backwards compatibility for the original DJI FPV system on the Goggles 2, DJI introduced a huge amount of complexity into their digital FPV systems with regards to what is compatible with what and what firmware you need for what as well. And buying a new ear unit such as a Vista today and installing the latest firmware may actually cause it not to work with certain products like this, the FPV Goggles version 2. In this video I'm going to walk you through the complete situation as it is today with regards to compatibility on the FPV goggles version 1, the FPV goggles version 2 and the new FPV goggles 2 and Integras with regards to 03, the original ear unit and the Cadex Vista or Runcam link. Now before we start I just want to mention that I'm going to be talking a lot about firmware versions in this video and the way you actually upgrade or downgrade the firmware on DJI's FPV system is via their Assistant 2 app. Now there are two separate versions of this Assistant 2. There is the original version called Assistant 2 for FPV and there's a newer version called Assistant 2 for consumer drones. You originally used the Assistant 2 for FPV with the V1 and V2 goggles with the ear unit and Vista and with the release of 03 and the Goggles 2 and Integra, we then started using the Assistant 2 for consumer drones. You can, though, use either version of these for upgrading or downgrading the firmware on the DJI ear units. However, you do need to take into account that there are some situations that you may actually have to use the older Assistant 2 for FPV, and specifically something that Joshua Bardwell mentioned, and that was the activation of original ear units and Vista. Does. Whilst you may be able to upgrade the firmware on the Assistant 2 for consumer drones, you may not be able to activate those older ear units on that version. And if you are having activation problems, you should download the version of Assistant 2 for FPV and use that. That way you should be able to both activate and then put the correct firmware version on. In this video, I will show you using Assistant 2 for consumer drones, but as I've said, please do bear in mind you may need to use that FPV version if your ear unit or your Vista is not activated. So to start, we're going to talk about the Vision 1 FPV goggles. These are the original ones that launched in 2019. These are the single band goggles. They do not work with any other product other than the digital FPV system. Now, these goggles are compatible with both the original FPV ear unit here and the Cadex Vista or what is now known as the Runcam Link. Now, these will work with these goggles on all firmware versions up to and including version 01.00.06.08. It doesn't matter if you're on an earlier version, but the last version that these units will work with these goggles on is that firmware ending in 0608. The last public release of firmware, which is version 01.01.0000, does not work on these ear units with these goggles. It is only for when using them with the DJI Goggles 2 or the new Goggles Integra. So if you receive a new ear unit and you want to use them with your existing goggles, do not upgrade them to that latest version 0101. You will need to downgrade them to that last version at the latest, ending in 0608. If you were to upgrade these ear units to that new version 01.01, they will not bind to these goggles. Whilst the V1s do work with these ear units, they are not compatible though, sadly, with the new DJI 03 ear unit, regardless of firmware versions. And the only ear units that are compatible are the two you can see here. Next, moving on to the Vision 2 goggles. These were the ones that released later that also have support for the DJI FPV drone, the DJI Avata, and now also the DJI O3 ear unit. Now, these goggles are compatible with all three ear units you see here. So O3, Vista, Stroke Run Cam Link, and the original ear unit. However, they are not all compatible in the same mode. For instance, to use O3, you need to have that specific 
O3 mode on the goggles, and to use them with the original ear units, you need to then return back to that DIY FPV mode. As a result of this, once again, these ear units are not compatible with these goggles on that latest firmware, which is version 01.01.0000, and you have to use the firmware version, as I stated earlier, which is up to and including 01.00.0608 or earlier. Now, there is a quirk whilst using these systems with the V2 goggles, and that is because you have to switch modes. When you do switch modes, you will lose the bindings between the different ear units. So, for instance, if you're in O3 mode and you switch to FPV DIY mode, your ear unit binding for O3 will be lost. If you're in DIY mode and switch to O3 mode, your binding for that mode on the goggles will be lost as well. There is, though, a mod that you can do for the V2 goggles via the FPV.WTF team that will restore the bindings for the original ear units when you switch modes, but it doesn't currently work with the O3 ear unit, and it is only a one-way thing. So when you switch from DIY to O3, you would retain the bindings for the DIY ear units. However, if you switched from O3 back to DIY, you would still lose the binding for O3. Again, just to confirm, if you were to install that latest DJI FPV firmware, which is version 01.01.0000 on these ear units, they will not bind to the V2 goggles in DIY mode. There are also some quirks you need to be aware of as a result of using these with the DJI FPV goggles version 2. For instance, with O3, you do get full DJI canvas mode. However, with the original ear units, you do not have canvas mode officially, and you are left with that DJI custom OSD. However, remember, you can root your V2 goggles and install WTF OS to have that canvas mode functionality on these ear units, but that isn't officially supported by DJI. DJI. Finally, there is these, the DJI Goggle 2, but what I'm saying here also stands for the new DJI Goggles Integra as well. The situation is identical. These goggles are compatible with all three ear units, just like the V2s. However, there are some differences with regards to the firmware. Whereas earlier, I was saying you cannot use these ear units on the V2 if you're on that new firmware version. The situation with these goggles is you have to be on that new firmware to get these to work with these goggles or the Integras. So that is your ear unit and your Vista Link will need to be on that version 01.01.0000. When you install that firmware on these ear units, they are compatible with these goggles. When using any of these ear units with these goggles, there is no loss of bindings when switching modes. You get canvas mode on all three models without any modifications or hacks. And in fact, you even get some additional benefits with regards to range, because whereas O3 has a limit of 23.4 kilometers, when using the Vista or the ear unit with these goggles, the range limit is increased to 30 kilometers. Using these with these goggles still gives you all of the same mods and hacks in the sense of the ham file does work on these just like it did with the O3. You don't apply it to the ear units, you simply apply it to the goggles. I have a video on that if you're interested in seeing it. I will link to it in the description and that will give you the maximum power output. The thing really to understand about these ear units when used with the goggles 2 and Integras is when you install that new firmware, you basically turn them into O3 ear units and whilst they don't have the same image quality, it gains all of the other functionality. About the only thing that is really missing is the auto record option, unfortunately, which isn't included here. 
There is one downside though, using the old ear units and specifically the ear unit itself with the goggles 2 or Integras, and that is that you do lose the DVR functionality on the main ear unit. You do still have the ability to record on the goggles, however, you do not have DVR recording. DJI did hint that they may release that in the future, but it hasn't happened up to the point of me making this video. Now, with regards to the O3 on the Goggles 2 and the V2s, there really isn't anything specific. All versions of O3 firmware will work with all versions of firmware on the Goggles 2, and O3 on the V2 Goggles basically needs the option to be shown in the menu. You simply need to upgrade to the latest version, and that will have the O3 option listed. You will, though, need to upgrade it in the FPV drone mode or the Avata mode, and you will need to do this via Assistant 2, or you could do it via the Fly app as well. It is worth noting that if you try to upgrade the V2 goggles in the DIY FPV mode, it will not give you the option for the latest firmware. It does need to be in either the Avata mode or the FPV drone mode to get it. And actually, in some cases, people have had to upgrade in the FPV drone mode to get the Avata mode, and then switch to the Avata mode and upgrade to get the O3 mode. And once you've done that, you'll have have all of the model lists shown in the goggles. Now, once you understand what firmware you need for the ear unit, the next thing is to actually do the upgrade or downgrade. Now, there is no restriction in doing this between the versions, as I've shown on these ear units, such as the Vista or the original ear unit, you simply need to choose the version that suits your goggles type. You simply connect your ear unit to the USB-C port on the side. If you're using a Vista or a DJI ear unit, you will need to power this. You will not be able to upgrade or downgrade the firmware without this actually being powered up as well. Whereas on the O3 ear unit, you can actually just plug it in and it will connect. This one though will need power. Then simply select the firmware, click through and allow the process to complete. Next, we're going to talk about the FCC hacks and what the situation is with these different goggles and systems. Now, just to quickly touch on the situation with FCC hacks and power output, the V1 goggles with the ear units still have all the same hacks as they've had in the past, regardless of firmware. So NACO will allow you in non-FCC areas to be able to get FCC mode up to 700 milliwatts and NACO underscore power, which you install on the goggles, will allow you to go up to 1200 milliwatts and that works as it did before, regardless of the firmware version. Moving over to the V2s, the situation with regards to NACO and the original ear units is exactly the same. Both NACO giving you 700 milliwatts and NACO underscore power giving you 1200 milliwatts when in DIY FPV mode. With regards to the V2s and the O3 ear unit, you do not use NACO. You have to use the HAM file, like I have explained in a dedicated video. Again, I'll link to that in the description of this one. That is a file that you place on the goggles and unlocks this ear unit to have that full FCC output. The thing to understand with the V2s when using it with these ear units is with the original ear units, you have to use the original hacks, so NACO and NACO power. And with the O3 ear unit, you have to use the new ham file hack to get the maximum output in that mode. And finally, with regards to the Goggles 2 and the Integra, again, just to make the point, everything is identical with the Integra, there is no difference. You have the HAM file which works on all three parts of this system. You do not install the file on the ear units, that simply goes on the Goggles, because you are upgrading the firmware on these ear units to that new O3 style. If you use NACO on these, it does nothing, you don't need to do it, you simply need to install the HAM file on your SD card card on the goggles. The final thing I want to touch on in this video is the situation with remote controllers and the different goggles and ear units. With both the V1 goggles and the V2s, when using them with the original DJI ear units, they are compatible with the original black FPV remote only. You cannot use the new Grey Vision 2 remote with these ear units when using the V1 goggles or the V2 goggles. Again, the situation is the same. They need to be on that version of firmware which ends in 0608 or earlier, and that is what is compatible with this remote. 
With regards to the V2s and O3, they are compatible with the new version 2 grey remote only and are not compatible with the original black remote. What this means if you are someone that is using O3 as well as the original ear unit, you are left in a situation of having to have the DJI FPV remote version 2 to use it with O3 and then the original DJI FPV remote to use it with the original ear units. What you cannot do is use that remote with the O3 ear unit on the V2s or this remote with the original ear units on the V2s and if you were swapping between systems and actually wanted to use the DJI remotes you would actually have to have both. Finally, with regards to the Goggles 2 and the Integras, they are only compatible with the V2 remote and that will work with all three of these ear units on that new firmware version which is 01.01.0000. That means you would be able to use all three parts of this system with that V2 remote but you can only do that with the Goggles 2 or Integras. So that really should give you an overview of the current situation and if you follow that you should be able to get your FPV system up and running regardless of the different types of goggles you're using. Now there are many things that DJI still have not resolved here and this whole firmware situation is frankly a complete mess. For instance you still can't record on the ear units when using them with that new O3 firmware. DJI sort of imply that they will bring that feature in the future in the firmware release notes. However, that has still not happened today. You cannot do auto recording. And whilst we do have that backwards compatibility on the E unit and Vista with the Goggles 2 and Integras, it isn't the fully featured system that we had when using it with the older goggles. In the end, I don't think you're going to see DJI do much more now with those original ear units and really O3 is what DJI seem to be pushing moving forward. It is a mess with regards to remote control compatibility as I've shown and what features work with what but it does mean that you do have the capability of using those older ear units with the goggles 2 or the Integras but it doesn't give you the total full functionality. Now if you have found this video useful please do let me know what you think in the comment section. If you have any questions please do put them in there as well and I will try and answer them. Furthermore, if it has been useful to you, please do give it a like and make sure you are subscribed, but please also check out the link to my Patreon and buy me a coffee in the description. It is only through the support of my patrons am I able to keep making content on this channel. I want to personally say a massive thank you from me to all of my patrons. I would not be able to buy what you see here without your support, and if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content like this in the future, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.